Hey there. So the first thing I'll show you is how to create a hatch as well as modify the angle of the hatch lines as well as the spacing between each hatch line. So the first thing you want to do is go into the hatch menu. You click, you click on draw. You move your cursor down until you meet the hatch menu. Click on the hatch menu. Next, this window will appear. When this appears, you would want to first change your type from predefined to user defined. Notice that when you change your type from predefined to user defined, your spacing option becomes available. In this case, you can then change the spacing between each hatch line to, to suit your needs. So let's choose 30. And let's change the angle from 135 to 60 degrees. Next, let's change the, hat, the hatch type. Let's choose this option. When you do that, you notice that it goes back to predefined. So all we simply do is select user defined and make sure that the spacing suits your needs. In this case, it's 30. After we do that, we select the add select objects option. We select our shape, which in this case is a rectangle. We click enter. This window will appear again just to confirm that you select you selected the right option. When this window appears, you click OK and your hatch becomes available. It becomes visible in your shape. If you would like to change the spacing, you simply go back into the hatch window. Oh my freaking freaking god, girl. Okay. So, you simply go back into the hatch window. And after deleting this hatch, you you uh recreate another hatch. So, now that we've ha we have the hatch um, problem covered, we would now we would like now to change the text size if we were to give this line here a particular dimension. By default, to select the dimension or attain the dimension of this line, we click on dimension at the top here, and we click on either quick dimension, linear, or aligned. I usually prefer aligned. So we select one side of this line, we select the other side of this line, and when that occurs, this dimension appears. However, as you can see here, the text of the actual length of this line is very small, and that can be a, a big problem. So to, to increase the size of that text, what we want to do to suit your drawing you can either delete this dimension here, go back into the dimension option, click on align or linear or quick dimension. In this case, it could either be linear or aligned. Click on one end of the line, click on the other end of the line. When you are dragging this dimension up, you can right click on the screen, click on M text. When you click on M text, this menu will appear. So make sure to change the size of this number here. You s first want to highlight this entire number, and you can then change the size of this number, the text size. So in this little box here, you can increase the text size to suit your needs. So let's change it to 30. Click OK. And as you can see here, the text size has increased. You then click on any part of the screen to finish your dimension. And voila, you finished your dimensioning of this line. However, let's revert back to the actual text size. As you can see, the text size is very minute again. 
If you would like to permanently change the text size of your dimensions, you first delete this dimension, you go into Format, you click on Text Style, that will open up the window, the text style window. You then permanently can change the text size of any text that you place in your document. So you highlight this number in the height box, you select 30 to permanently change the text size and you click on OK. You can then go back into dimensions, select aligned or linear, and in this case, as you can see, it is predefined as 30. Click on any part of the screen to suit the distance of the dimension away from the line, and voila, there you have it. Another thing you can do to be able to differentiate between this dimension and this line, that is to create some sort of spacing, a larger spacing, so you can actually be able to easily differentiate between the dimension and the line. You can go into Format, click on Dimension Style. When you do that, this Dimension Style Manager will appear. Let's do it again. So we go into Format, click on Dimension Style. When the Dimension Style Manager window appears, you then click on Modify. When you click on Modify, you can then select the Offset from Origin. The Offset from Origin then det uh, that determines how far your dimension from the actual shape will be. In this case, it is very small as compared to, this, to the dimension or size of the line. So let's carry this to 30. So when you do that, when you click OK, click Close, as you notice here, the, the distance between the actual dimension and the line has been changed from 0.625 to 30. Now say you would like to also change the arrow size, because when you zoom in you can see the arrows indicating the dimension. You can again go into Format, select Dimension Style, select Modify, and select the Symbols and Arrows tab. When you do that, you can then select the size of the arrow. To change the size of the arrow, you highlight 2.5 in this case and you change it to let's say 20. You click, on, you click on OK, click on close and voila there you have it. The size of the arrow has changed. There are many things you can do in terms of making the dimensions look better such as changing the color of the dimensions or even changing the text style, such as Times New Roman, City Blueprint, Arial, etc. So it is your choice, and I'm going to stop speaking like a damn robot. So, take care.